Hi, Happy New Year and welcome back to Bransford Webs. Well, what a wet December we've had. It's just rained and rained and rained here in Worcestershire. Um, we've had to pause work on um, our development plans on the nursery um, because we've not been able to get on the ground, it's been so wet. And we've had the road at the end by the nursery gates closed um, part of the week this week due to flooding. That being said, coming back to the nursery after a Christmas break and it's always lifting of the heart. Lots of potential on the nursery. It just shows that spring isn't far away now. Warmer days will be here and the sun will come out. And we've got loads of stuff looking good on the nursery already. Ready to fill those benches in the garden centre, hopefully emptied by the Christmas tree sales and ready for those customers starting to tentatively come out and wondering what they can do to brighten up their lives and cheer up their gardens. So, I'm down here um, on a field called Lower California with a tunnel of Hellebore Glenda's Gloss behind me. As you can see, it's all absolutely loaded in bud and flower, looking stunning. And I'll start the video this week with Glenda's Gloss. So here's where I've just taken off the bed before I did this. As you can see, really strong plant. I, I love Glenda's Gloss. It's got this pick a tea type flower. I'll spin it around that way. It's got the lovely sort of pink, purple blushes to the edge of the flowers. Really large flowers. And with all this Frosky series, it's got the marbled foliage. So you have got that interest all year round with the Frosky series of hellebores. It really does add something to every garden. And you can see there's one or two flowers open and an absolute mass still coming up. So loads of shelf life, loads of potential, whether it's on the bench in the garden centre or in someone's garden in a pot or in the border. Really good garden plant. While talking about Frosky, so we've got about eight or nine online at the moment. So that one is Glenda's Gloss. Here is the one that started it all and has red. It's got that lovely red, as you guess, um, flower. Really large flower with the yellow centres that really stand out. And again, the marbling foliage. That was one that was the first one bred by Rodney Davey um, 20, 30 years ago now that started off this range. That's become the Foskis range. And it runs all the way through from the deep reds like that and Penny's Pink through the, to the mid pinks and then the blush ones like the Glenda's Gloss through to things like Moon Dance, which is a really large white flower it's got a cup shaped flower to it as well so it's really really nice and probably more marbling on the foliage of this one than there are on some of the other varieties too so that's the frosky series look out for that on the availability list a couple of the hellebores we've got online at the moment that look lovely is um bijou so as it's nice it's nice and compact loads of bud coming up on it too you can see them coming through all the time but just look at that flower it's almost like someone's painted it it's got a lovely purple speckled flower absolutely delicious so that's um hellebore bijou and the one that sales to me love at the moment is Painted Bunting. So a bit like Glenda's Gloss, but um, sort of supercharged Glenda's Gloss. It's um, Painted Bunting, it's got this pick like flower, loads of veining on there, you see on the back of the flowers too. More upright in its habit, loads of bud coming through from the base too. So again, good shelf life, good impact for people coming in to see something fresh in the garden centre at the moment. As you'd expect from us at the moment, we've got Hebe's online as well. So first of all, we've got Hebe Caledonia. One of the toughest of the range, it's got this lovely sort of red stems to it and the dark foliage, it just turns red as the new growth comes out. Really strong variety and flushes with massive purple flowers later in the year. Also we've got online, we've got purple shamrock for its foliage colour and if we get some cooler nights, which I think are in the forecast for the next week or so, this will really redden up on its tips. These will go sort of pinky red on the new growth and it'll look really impressive and really stand out. And again, a great, great garden variety. I drive past um, one of these in a wooden barrel in um, one of the local villages near where we live and it just astounds me every year how good this looks as you get into sort of February and that colour flushes through on it. And then the other to show you this week, plenty more to come don't worry over the next couple, few weeks, is Silver Dollar. Again really robust variety, really strong, um, will stand the cold and will look really good in the garden centre and again benefits from the cold. So this under um, cold glass at the moment but we've not really had any frost to get the colour coming so as we get the frost over the next week or so that are forecast, hopefully this will just start to flush through um, and pink up and it'll go into this lovely, you can see on the label, really pink flush and that contrasted with the cream and green foliage really stands out. So that's Hebe Silver Dollar. A um, bit more topical seasonal colour at the moment as well, the Primulas. So the range is changing each week so keep a close look on the um, availability list but you've got um, Woodland, uh, woodland Rose here, which is a um, lovely variety. Loads of bud coming through in the centre, that lovely um, pink variety. And then you've got Everlast. So Everlast is a hybrid version of the native Primrose. So you get all the benefits and um, of the flower colour of native Primrose, Primula vulgaris, 
but what you get with Everlast is a self-cleaning. So I'll just keep flushing through and flushing through all those buds. I'll just keep going for the next sort of six, eight, ten weeks, giving loads of colour. I've known people with this flowering right to the end of March in the garden. Um, loads and loads of colour on it and um, keep flushing and just grow over the old flowers so you don't need to keep deadheading it and keep freshening it up. It just looks after itself and it's completely hardy as well. So a vast improvement on the native primrose but with the same effect in the garden. Something that is a little bit early this year but again being grown cold so it's just the weather we've had. Our, our Anemone Harmony series. So I've got three colours, we've got two here at the moment. I've got Orchid and Scarlet. As you can see the first flowers are opening. I'll just put the Orchid one down, get Scarlet. You can see more and more are coming up from the base all the time and again these continue to flower right the way through the spring. But something early, something looking good, something different colour at this time of year that isn't a primrose or a hellebore. So something that might just liven up the benches for you in the garden centre. And last but not least, we have had our first of his online. So the poem series have gone online. This is Poem Lavender. So as you suggest, it's got the nice um, lavender, um, pale lavender flowers. It comes out with this sort of orange flush, first of all, peachy flush, first of all, and then matures off to the lavender. And just look at the amount of bud in that. Absolutely loaded. So the first flowers are out and it's just got so much promise. And that's what I mean about this time of year. There's so much promise on the nursery and what's looking good. And then the sister plant to Poem Lavender is Poem Lilac. Just that darker, slightly darker flower colour. So I put them side by side, you can see. So they work really well together, whether it's um, on a bench or whether you put one or the other that gives the alternative. Slightly broader leaf on um, Lilac, but again, absolutely masses and masses of bud. And then last but not least, I only got one of the colours, so I couldn't fit them all on the back of the buggy. Um, but we've got the um, Arisimum layer series. So there's four colours in this. So you've got all the way through oranges and yellows into the deep purples as well. Um, and this one is Lemon Glow. So you can see it's glow because it does look like it's glowing. The flowers come out a really beautiful buttery um, lemon and fade off to a nice um, pale pastel colour. So as you can see, loads of colour at the moment, loads of potential. Can't wait to get into spring. Check out the full availability list online and we'll see you next week for another video. Goodbye for now.